What's up everyone? Welcome back. We're not surfing this week. There's no waves. We're going fishing. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm here at Teach's Lair Marina down in Hatteras. Got the ski rigged up. I was gonna try and go yesterday, but after spending 13 hours doing an edit the night before and trying to get it out yesterday morning, by the time I was ready, it was too late in the day. So, left everything packed up. Gonna give it a shot today. Hopefully find some big drum, some puppy drum, or maybe a cobia, if I'm lucky. The water's not really warm enough for it, but I, I just wanna get out there. It's gonna be a nice day. A Little bumpy for the ski. We're gonna give it a shot. I'll give you guys a little rundown of how I have my thing set up and we'll hit the water. Got two extra gas cans in case we go far. Got the arsenal of IRT reels from the 300 series to the 400 up to the 500. We got bucktails, sting silvers, and just regular grubs. That way we're ready for whatever we find. We got the gaff in case Mr. Cobia shows up. Life jacket with the EPIRB on it for safety. The Ice Mule Coolers Boss, which I have some electronics and chargers in the front, and then snacks and waters in the main compartment. We got the Ice Mule Pro Catch 42 inch bag for the big fish. We got bubble blade pliers, easily accessible GoPro, because you got to capture all the action. Over on this side, we have the Lowrance Elite 4 fish finder. We got a hammer, because when you catch a cobia, you got to bang it to death so it doesn't beat you to death. And then obviously the Plano tackle box full of inshore gear, bucktails, grubs, I mean, everything I could need today. That's the gist of it. I got an all two mil O'Neill wetsuit on because even though it's hot out, when that water hits you and the wind hits you, you get chilly fast. Um, oh, to touch up on backup safety, I have the EPIRB, yes, but in the compartment right here, I have a radio, and up here I have a backup radio and a flare gun and a dry bag, just in case. I'm just excited to go fishing. So let's get on the water. I always rig my lanyard up to one of my buckles. That way my hands are free to fish and do whatever else necessary. Just got a text from Matt Lusk. He just he said he's on a school of black drum. I'm gonna go meet up with him, see if I can get one. Let's go find him. How far out? Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Got him. Here he comes, coming up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, he's a monster. <laughs> if I get him in my lap, he'll officially be the biggest thing I've put on this ski. I'm not gonna count my chickens before they hatch, because. I am still pretty novice when it comes to fishing like this. Alright. Here we go. Oh, no, he's not over yet. Oh, look at that tank! Are you kidding me? Oh, oh yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, I'm covered in crap. This is great. Those guys are on school. Time to get some more. Got the hot water hose to wash the fly off. Get myself cleaned off before I hook up again. Number two. That's what it's all about. We're gonna let this guy go. All right, everyone's over that school, including me. I'm gonna drive over there and just try and get one cool shot of them just all around the ski. When you're 
you're tired of catching them and you just admire them. They're beautiful. <laughs> what more do you want? <laughs> I really didn't want another one, but I was amongst that school and and now here I am. Show me your face! Gosh, this thing's massive! Are you kidding me? <laughs> there he goes. Oh, almost had him up. This is like my dream right here. Catching fish. Oh. Big black drum on the IRT 500 series reel. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh this one's a tank too. <laughs> Oh man, what a day. What a day. Very happy with that. I'll let this tank go. Oh, there he goes. As long as they swim off on their own. That's what you want. You want them to swim off on their own. Time. Go. Try and find a cubia. Alright, we got a big turtle up ahead. Come on, Mr. Cubia. Be with him. Another turtle, but no one home. Another giant sunfish. These guys are flying low. Matt Lusk has found some more black drum. You got three what? In the mouth. Nice. Yeah, boys. That might be a cool photo. <laughs> All right. Matt Les convinced me to cast back into that school of black drum. And now here I am. I couldn't have just hooked a little one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no wonder it's taking a while. This is the fun part on here. No net. No. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> oh. This one might be bigger than the first one. Oh, Red <laughs> oh yeah. you can, he's, he's drumming in my lap. <laughs> yeah, super easy. Oh. Getting back to the dock and turning the ski off and just being quiet. <sighs> we got a truck. Get out of here.
Well, what an awesome day. Just, I'd never even caught a black drum in my life, not even a little one. And so then getting on those 50 pounders and whatnot, I mean, they were just massive. It was cool, it was special to me. Like I said, that was the first time I'd ever caught one. Got wrapped up there at Teaches, came home, just got everything, finished getting everything washed off. I'm flushing the jet ski now. Epic day, can't wait till next time. Speaking of next time, until then, for those of you who don't already, be sure to subscribe so you can keep up to these adventures. For everyone else that already has joined in, thanks for the support. See you next time.